guys, it's Kaylee here. I have an awesome knife review for you guys today on this beautiful knife made by Laconian Bladecraft. This is called the LBC-LF Tyrant Hunter. And this is by far one of my favorite custom knives I've owned. Um, it's an incredible knife and it's held up so well. I've actually had this for quite a while now and um, I've been carrying it as my EDC for the last like two months. I should have had this review done weeks ago and I feel awful that it's taken me so long to get it done. But um, you guys know how crazy and hectic my life is. I truly never have a free minute to myself. I actually um, just had to lock myself in the bedroom because my little girl kept coming in here. So if it's not my kid, it's my cat, you know. <laughs> it's always something. But anyway, so I finally just got a free minute um, to myself to get this done. So hopefully I can get through without any more interruptions. <laughs> but anyways, I'm glad that I held off for so long on doing the review because it actually gave me the opportunity um, to really get a lot more use out of this. And as you guys can see... I've really been putting this thing through a lot of uh, heavy, heavy use. Like I said, I've been carrying it as my EDC for the last two months, and I've been using it for everything. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Facebook, go over and check out my Facebook page. Um, it's my fan page. It's just Kayla Cummings. And you can see all the pictures of me using this and all the different tasks and stuff that I've used it for. So this has held up really well. Um, the edge on this has held up so well. Um, very, very impressed with that. But what I want to do is I want to go over the specs, talk all about the knife, and then I want to tell you guys um, all about the company and stuff because Laconian Bladecraft is an incredible company. The guys that run the business um, are absolutely amazing, and they're all about making a good quality product, which I really, really love that. So we're going to go over the specs, and then we'll talk about the company. So let me get up nice and close so you guys can take a really good look. So the overall length is 8.5 inches, so it's a good size knife. The blade length is 4 inches, and the handle is 4.5 inches, totaling 8.5 inches overall length. So the handle material is the Coyote Brown, it's G10, and it's got the reptilian pattern, which I absolutely love. I think that's such a beautiful design. I wish that I could do that on my knives, but I am not that talented with the Dremel yet, <laughs> so hopefully I'll get there one day. But I love that. I love that pattern. Very cool. It's got a nice big lanyard hole, so you can put a lanyard on there if you'd like. Nice handle hardware. The blade material, it's really good steel. It's CPM S35VN, and it has a bead blast finish. So really good steel. Um, the edge retention, like I said, excellent. Um, holds an edge very well. It's still super sharp. It's got a nice recurve in the belly there. And then on this side is their logo, which I love. You guys know how much I love my knives and how much I love skulls. So their logo is pretty badass. And then, as you guys can see, it's got a really cool, unique feature. It's got like a, the broken spine feature, which you can actually use that for a ton of different things. Um, and if you use your imagination, the possibilities really are endless for what you can use it for. Um, you can use it for a ton of different things. And like I said, if you guys go over to my Facebook page, you can see all the different things that I've used this for. So it's really cool. It's a unique feature. Very neat. This is a quarter inch thick, so nice and thick. So I don't think you're going to have any issues with this breaking or um, needing repairs or anything. It's, it's nice and thick. So it's definitely going to withhold um, or withstand any task that you put it through, which I've been using this for a lot of different things, and so far so good. I'm very, very impressed with it. So I think that's pretty much it um, for all the specs and everything, all the information on the knife. So as you guys can see, I mean, it's definitely been taking a beating and stuff, so a little bit of the bead blast has come off, but... I mean, for what, for what it's worth, I mean, I've been putting it through so much, and I've been putting it through a ton of different tasks, so for just that tiny bit to come off, I'm pretty impressed with that, too, because the, the finish has actually held up really well, also. That's pretty cool. But you can definitely see where I put it through. <laughs> a lot of different abuse. All right, so let's talk about the company here. Oh, and then also, it comes with a sheath, as you guys can see as well, a Kydex sheath. And, um... The rivets have been put in there so that you can put a tech lock or something on if you'd like. So, and that just snaps right into place nice and secure. So it's not going anywhere on you. 
So Laconian Bladecraft, when they first started out, they started out in the summer of 2012, they started out a um, very small company in a small shop and uh, they really busted their butts to get to where they are now. Um, they've only been doing this for a couple of years and they're already um, doing so well for themselves and that makes me really happy because they are such incredible guys, um, very, very kind and they do make an amazing product. Um, they're all about quality over quantity. They want to make sure that they make um, a really good quality product for you guys that's going to endure any task that you put it through. And it, it does. It absolutely does. Um, and I, I love that about them, that they're not willing to compromise um, materials and the quality of the product to, to give you like a low price tag or um, a lower a lower end knife. So I love that. I think that's great. They're all about using the best methods and the best materials so that you definitely get your money's worth and stuff. Um, also, I forgot to mention, too, that this was professionally heat treated to um, 60 on the Rockwell scale. So all of their knives are professionally heat treated by um, an ISO certified company, which is really nice as well. So you know that you're not going to have any issues with the, the tempering or the heat treat or anything like that. And then all of their knives have a lifetime um, transferable warranty. So if your knife needs to be replaced or repaired, um, they'll do that for you. I believe the only thing that they ask is that you cover the shipping cost. Um, and if it's shipping out of Canada, then I think you have to pay for both of the shipping back and, um, back and forth. So I think that's pretty much it. I mean, you can see all that, um, all the details and stuff on their, their um, website as well. But good luck trying to break this because, like I said, it's a quarter inch thick. And um, it's good steel. I, I don't think that you're going to have any issues um, with needing to repair or replace any of their knives. But it is, it's, it's good that that option is there in case it does happen. Because, you know, things do happen. But, like I said, I don't think that you're going to have that issue. So, um, let's see. What else? Um, all of their blades are made from top tier parts. Um, so, all of their... Blades are made from top tier U.S. Canadian parts and their materials um, are also made with um, U.S. Canadian and European machines. So, another cool little piece of information there as well. I think that's pretty much it. Give you guys one last little look, something to look at here while I'm rambling. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, these are absolutely beautiful products. Um, they make in incredible knives, they really do, and they're great guys and I really want to see their company do well. So please go over. Um, and give them a like. They have a Facebook page. It's just Laconian Bladecraft. You guys can go over and check out their Facebook page or also go over and check out um, their website as well. And I'll leave all that information in the description box down below for you guys. Um, the Tyrant Hunter was actually released in August 2013, so this um, just barely came out not too long ago. I think that's pretty much it, guys. So go over, check them out, check out their Facebook page, give them a like, tell them that Kayla sent you. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And I will see you guys soon, okay? Have a great day. Bye, guys.